into a drone mapping. You guys probably seen these little things buzzing around. Well, some of them are used for good, not just snooping on you. Uh, it's a bird. It's a plane. Nope. It's an autonomous mapping drone. Somebody actually made that, and it flew pretty well. It has claws. My drone isn't that scary. This is something you just buy off the shelf and stick a GoPro on a gimbal, and you're set to go. I made this not so long ago. Right from afar, it doesn't look very interesting. There's nothing special about this. You can probably go on Google Earth and get the same exact resolution. Ten points if you can guess where that is. It's about five miles from here. But wait, there's more resolution, that is, because this map was taken with the low-flying drone. I was able to get satellite, better than satellite image imagery on here by being able to zoom in and get great amount of detail. Pretty cool. And you're probably thinking, man, he must be a pro at making maps, right? Well, my prior Otho Mosaic Geo Reference Mapping experience, that's a mouthful. None. I made this map in about half a day, from going out to the field, programming my little drone, to going back to the lab and processing, and done. Basic components for making a drone map is you'll need a drone. Two, you need the proper licensing. Three, the right type of cameras. Four, the proper flight planning software. And five, the right post-processing software. So let's start off with the, right at the, at the top here with the right drone. The right drone for the right job. Bigger areas, bigger drone. The three main types of drones that you get to choose from are multi-rotors, fixed wings, or a combination of both, which are called vertical takeoff or landing vehicles. They all have their pros and cons. It all determines on the type of job that you're trying to get. Next up, licensing. Make sure you check what your laws. You're not doing anything illegal. Flying right in front of the airport. Don't do that. Next up, flight planning software. This is what programs your drone. It tells, it gives it instructions to fly, to fly a prescribed path, and you know that way you have picture at a set spot at a set time. Next up, post processing software. This is where the real heavy lifting is done. This is the software takes the images and stitches them together and gives you a big map. So essentially, that map that you saw in the beginning was a set of about 100 pictures. And uh, next up is the type of cameras that you put on this drone. The type of camera will determine the type of map that you'll get. Here are the basic type of cameras, the red, green, and blue type cameras, which are your basic cell phone, GoPro type cameras. Next up, you have thermal type of cameras, which give you a selection in the near infrared area. where you, So you can select heat or cold. You know, you can differentiate between heat, heat things. And the next up is the multispectral type cameras, which show you mixed visible and invisible channels, and even more you know, mixed and invisible channels are, it's called hyperspectral type cameras. And then last but not least, you have LIDAR type cameras, which use range finding to, you know, find the distance from point A to point B using light. Pretty cool. And so at any point, if you're doing a drone for anything, please be safe and know before you fly. Thank you very much.